Hi friends, today is Tuesday. I just finished chapel time and I thought it would be a great example to show you where I experienced God this week. Now today's scripture, we will learn that Jesus teaches that where two or three are gathered, then Jesus' spirit is present as well. And so here in chapel time on Tuesday mornings, I experience the Jesus spirit in the faces and in the little children who come into this sacred space. I experience God's presence through their excitement when they come through the door and they look around and just are so excited about being here. I experience God's presence through their greeting when they say, hi, Pastor Christy. And that happens if they see me on uh, the church campus or, or anywhere. I experience God's presence through them, through their curiosity and their endless questions. I read them stories and they always have questions about the stories that I read. I experience God's presence through their singing. Oh, just their, their heart to sing and Jesus loves me. It is so wonderful to experience their little souls singing, Jesus loves me. Now, I know in this space, it may seem obvious that where two or three are gathered in Jesus' name, that Jesus will be present. But in the scripture, it doesn't say it has to be in the church. It can be in any group. It can be in any you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation. You could be the second person. It says we're two. Maybe you and one other person have a shared moment, a conversation, a prayer together where you experience God's presence. So this week, I invite you to think about those moments, those times when a group or when a partnership or a friendship or maybe a moment here at the church or in the community where you have experienced Christ just by being together and interacting with one another. Now, if you have a special group and a photo of it, I would love to see it if you want to come and, and post that uh, either on our Facebook thread or on our bulletin board. But I think it would be great for us to continue sharing with each other these special moments and special places where we experience God's presence. So as we continue with our sermon series on where is God, I invite you to look for God all around you and in your interactions, whether it's friends, family, church family, or children. Mm -hmm.